What is up guys, John back here with another video and today we are testing out this 30 watt solar panel, three panel piece from Marbero, I believe is the name. So I mainly got this just to kind of test it out and see how good it was and I've had it for about an hour now and I've been testing it out and this is nowhere near enough solar or volt capacity with a Blue Yeti EB3A. I'm well aware of that, but I just wanted to kind of test something out. And this 30 watt was something that I could get same day. So I was like, you know what, let me test that out and see how it does. But so far, um, sun's been pointed directly right there. And it's been very off and on. I mean, sometimes it hides behind this tree. Sometimes it completely gets covered by the clouds. So it's been very off and on, but Nonetheless, it's still been hitting the solar panel pretty good. And I don't have the solar panel set up like perfectly pitched or anything like that. I just have it thrown on top of the unit just for now, just to do some testing with it. But um, I can say, honestly, it's been hitting anywhere from 15 to 20 watts, I would say, which is actually pretty impressive when you think about that, because it's a 30 watt solar panel and everyone knows that you're never gonna see actually 30 full watts. Um, and this thing's been hitting 20, 21 and sitting there for, for quite some time. So I know like right now with the sun pitched right on it, we're getting 21 watts. I don't know if you can see that. It's really, it's 20 watts right now. It's been sitting at 21 watts for the last, uh, oh, we got 22 right there. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive for a 30 watt solar panel to be hitting 20 to 22 watts the whole entire time. And, oh, it's 23 right there. So it's climbing up a little bit, but, and it says on the Blue Yeti, it'll take a half hour to charge it all the way. I know you can't really see it because all the sun out here, but there we go. So a half hour at 23 watts, but I started this test off at 96% already. So it wasn't like it was really low. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I got to give it a pretty good grade. It's a pretty good uh, solar panel. Definitely if you had a little bit smaller watt hour unit, it would work way better with that and maybe like the 150 or you know 170 watt hour range this would charge that up no problem but um, the only other thing is it doesn't have any kickstands built onto it so it kind of has to just flop around to be honest it does come with little hooks to put on the back of it right here on all four corners um, that doesn't really make much sense to me though because you would have to Put this completely flat up against a fence or something which you need this thing to be angled so i'm not really sure why that would even be included with that but nonetheless i mean you can always lay it on top of something like this and it would do the job just as just as good so this is going to be the uh, first solar panel that i buy uh, i'm going to be planning on getting some hundreds and then some 200s and then some 400s eventually for my bigger units and then uh, we'll go from there and see how that does i just kind of never had a solar panel before so i just really wanted to see like how it would work overall and uh, seeing this little guy work at, you know, 23 watts in sunlight that's, you know, late, by the way, too. We're, uh, we're 4 or 4 p.m. today, so the sunshine is, is not as powerful as it was at 9 o'clock this morning or 10 o'clock this morning. So, and we're still hitting that type of power output, so pretty impressed. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, this video. I'll be sure to make some follow-up videos and some, some new videos with the uh, solar generators and the power generators and the solar panels. And uh, we'll see what happens. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.